Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use Storify to collect all of the walks you have shared over the past eight or nine weeks in Walk My World. The first thing you have to do is create an account, or if you already have one, log in. So you can log in with Facebook or you can log in with Twitter. And Storify is a system that allows you to basically create and curate in stories from the web. So the first thing you do is click on Create Story. And then you add a title here. Now the way that Storify works is that you can come in and bring in information from across the web. Flickr, Instagram, Google, um, you can upload pictures, and then you can do links. So with Walk My World, you're probably thinking I will use Twitter and I can just search for my name and be able to pull out all of my walks. However, that won't work because Twitter's API only allows Storify to pull the last week, the last seven days of tweets. So finding a walk from eight weeks ago is impossible. What you need to do is use this feature, the embed URL and the Walk My World archive. Now, the way that I would use the Walk My World archive, I want to find all of my tweets. If I just looked for my name, that won't work because it will pull up every time it was mixed in here. So what I'm going to do is go over to column B, pull down this little arrow here, and sort the sheet A to Z. That will arrange the tweets by user. And I can go and look through all of the tweets in the archive that I sent. And it's taking, there are a lot, so it's taking a while to calculate. Um, so we'll keep waiting. And while that's working on that, let me go back and show you how Storify works. So you have a couple of options here where I can add a header. And I can add what my week one tweet is. I can bold in here. I mean, your, your basic operations. You have your ability to add in links. And it'll go right to that hyperlink. And then I can just drop in my tweets. So let me go back over here. Oh, and we're all set. So I'm going to go down through the list and find JG Mac now. Getting there, getting there. There we go. So now I can look through and find the walks that I shared. Here's my last walk that I shared. So I'm going to grab that. And what I need to grab is over here. Not the profile link, but the status URL. And I need to copy this. So now if I copy that, I can bring that over to here, put the embed URL there, and I can then drag that in. This is actually my week eight, so I'm, I'm going to wait a second on that one, because um, this is my week eight walk. And let me... Add that. See, so I add that a header and I make that a bold. So let me go back and find my week one walk. This was actually from Vine, my first one. And I remember 
that I had to reshare it to find it. So it's right here in row 975. So if you remember correctly, I'm going to go over and find the status URL. I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to bring it back over into Storify. And then I can drop that right in to here. Now I can add my week two block and do it again. So row 147. It's a little slow because we're up to, you know, over um, over 3,000 separate tweets in the Walk My World project. So I think this quick tutorial gives you an idea of how to work. As a reminder, we went over how to go into um, how to go into Storify, and then how to use the embed URL and the Walk My World archive to be able to create your information on Storify. So let me just do one last one before I let you go. So I'm looking for one of my next walks. I'm just going through and reading them. It's amazing how many different communications and people I've met and poems we've read and, and poems I've shared and the annotations that have gone on. It's, it's really exciting to kind of look through this and, and see that all is going on. Um, so here's some of my walks. I'm looking for... All right, so here's my next walk. Row 1537. As you can see, the, the spreadsheet, because it is so large, it jumps around a little bit. Um, so you have to, you know, take your time and be patient. But all of your walks are there. So I can go over to here. Put that in, and then I can drag that into my week two walk. Actually, this is my week three walk. So I can easily edit in Storify, and then if I need to add something here, I can put in my week two walk. And the week two walk was about my snowy day and it was a vine so I will go through 
and look for that and keep building my Storify. So what your task, what we need to start doing, is collecting all of the walks in one place that you have shared. And once I am done sharing and collecting all of my walks, I will send this out to Twitter and show you how to publish.